Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Um, the first thing that I want to say is when Steve Jobs launched the iPhone way back when, he said that he was going to launch three products, and that was a revolutionary uh, internet explorer, whatever, uh, a, f a f communications device, and a iPod. And when he was uh, presenting this, he presented them as three separate ideas, and then had an animation and tried to get the audience to understand that he was actually um, presenting just one idea, which was the iPhone, which had all three features. Um, this tutorial today has just got some copied and pasted images that he used in his tutorial of the internet. And the first thing I want to do is show you the group feature at the very top. If I select all three of these images, simply as that and group them, I can now freely move these three images anywhere I want. That is simply the group feature. If I want to ungroup them, I can ungroup them and they will individual. The next thing I want to do is now make this Safari icon similar to the others. And what I do is I want to mask it first and Oh, I could mask it, but as you know, I don't want to. But let's just go ahead and show you what a mask can do. A mask could crop the image like that. I don't want to do that. I want to just take away the black bits in the corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alpha. I'm going to click on the black bit here, and I'm going to spread my cursor as much as I can and press enter. I've got a bit of a shadow on if I went to shadow and yeah, introduce the shadow a bit better for the angle at the bottom. Uh, then I want to make this probably the same size as those so they're roughly looking the same now. I know the shadow is a bit off on this one. Let's just make it less. Okay, very simple, alpha. And all we have to do now is change the background. Okay, I want to go to gradient, that's what Steve Jobs used to use. And the problem has come up. I can see another white background here on the phone icon. So I'm just going to alpha that, same way as I did the other one. I want to alpha this iPod now. Not too much, remember, because I ah, feel a problem with these pictures, I didn't actually think of that, but uh, they're not the most perfect pictures in the world. For this, they will do. I'm going to highlight all of them again. I'm going to go into just insert smart build spinning cube. I'm going to put this in the centre and I'm going to press play. Press enter again, it spins and it shows the different uh, faces. And that's simply how Steve Jobs did that in his iPhone um, you know, presentation. There's also other things that we can do. We can do insert, smart build, and we can do revolve, for argument's sake. Um, revolve is a nice little feature if you're showing maybe photos. Um, as you can see, that's that. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.